Right, so today we are checking out the newly released MAPS Neon Series 2306 2050 KV motors. The Neon Series basically comes in four sizes, the standard 2207 and the 2306, and the more unique size like the 2303.5 plus 5, 5, and the 2505 plus 5, and maybe more in the future. Currently, they are available in two vibrant colors, so you can get either the neon green or the neon red. The rumor is more colors will be coming out soon. So comparing the Neon series to the previous Space series, the Neon motor still features the unique belt design, but are marketed to be as 35 or something percent more durable compared to the previous generation and that is what people are talking about that the motors is not that durable so i think they're trying to address this problem and this thing it does seem to have a more sturdier design because you can see that this is a lot more simpler and yeah that's about it i don't think there's a lot you can say about it this one is complete stainless steel so i think it's going to be very hard to break also i just have to say it for so much product i handle and reviewed maps is the brand so far has the best score on their packaging and the design of their product so you just look at this and look at the packaging most of the people are just going to use a little box without a lot of design and put the motors in but this one it does look like a it does look premium like based on the packaging itself so yeah it's pretty obvious that their designer did spend a lot of time on making the package to be appealing so this is something that is a plus yeah so if you wanted to give this to somebody it does look nicer but in the fpv world i don't think the packaging is something we care about but it's still good to see something nice for the more important quality and performance i haven't tested neon motors yet so i cannot tell you like if it's good or bad but given that T Motors is their OEM, which is no longer a secret, I'm confident that they should perform okay. So if you're a fan of T Motor products, you will likely be okay with Max as well. It's all about cost at the end. So lastly, and more importantly, one of the biggest selling points for the Neon Motors is the price. They are generally 20 to 25 percent cheaper than the previous space series the 2306 motor i'm holding are currently priced as just 9.99 which is a fantastic deal especially for the unibuild motor as these will cost more to make based on this ultra budget pricing i would say this could make them a great option for banjo flyers as they are just affordable to replace at around only ten dollars each However, I'm not sure if this price will be a permanent, permanent price or it's just going to be a limited promotion. So do take advantage if you wanted to grab some budget motors for your inventory. In addition, MAPS has kindly offered our channel an additional 10% off with the discount code IFLY10. Details are going to be listed down below, so it's going to bring the cost even lower. So if you'd like to check it out, links are down below. All right. Let's get these motored on a drone and let's see how they perform. Okay, so before we actually dive into the installation, let me just introduce the drone we will be using to test these Neo motors today. So we will be working with the Speedy B Maps build I put together a few months ago. This drone is equipped with all Maps powertrain system, including the prior Space 2306 motors and their 60 MBSC and their F7 flight controller. This is one of my favorite quads I trust and use on most of my videos, video shoots and probably because this is only my digital 6S, well, only digital 6S quad that I have, but anyway. So if you're interested in building one of yourself, I've included the detailed step-by-step -step video just down below. Now let's switch these motor off and let's put these Neo motors on and we'll go to the field and we're gonna give it a quick test. Let's get going. Okay, so now we have finished removing all the motors on the Speedy B, and now let's just remove everything from the package. So I'm not going to remove the screws because I'm just going to use the ones that I have so I can keep these intact in like one box.
right so we have probably removed all these neon from the package and next we're just going to be screwing them back onto the the basic the stator something like that right Okay, so now we have finished the installation of the motor, so we basically got them secure. They actually look pretty good, but I kind of wish that it is either black or yellow, so it kind of fits this theme a little bit better. But anyway, we're just going to test out how they work, right? So I'm not going to pay too much attention about the coloring. Next step, let's just basically going to be cutting the wires to the length of the basically the solder pad so this wire is not too long okay i'm just gonna do one and do the rest because otherwise it's just going to be too redundant and you're just gonna you're just not gonna want to watch this so let's just do one okay that's the first one i'm gonna get the second one right here and then we're gonna get the third one right here And then com what comes with it is you are going to have to strip the wires in order to have uh, basically the iron part coming out so you can get to solder it. So we're going to get out the wire stripper. This is the one I have. If you wanted to use it, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go get it. So let's probably pull it in the 12 gauge. Then you're going to cut it. Make sure you don't cut the whole thing. And then okay, sometimes it takes a bit, a few tries because these wires are not uniform size so it could we have to cut it and pull there we go okay based on what we learned we're gonna have to make sure this is fully cut off so cut it off like that use this another section to pull it off Right, so that's basically how you strip your wires. And the third part is you're gonna have to pre-tin these soldering tips, otherwise you won't be able to get a good connection. You're gonna bring out your soldering iron. No, you're basically gonna bring out your tin. And then what we are going to be doing is you're gonna use your solder pen, soldering iron to touch the, the wire, make it a little bit hot, and then Yeah, since my wires are already containing flux, so it should be okay that we can kind of bypass. Otherwise, you should be putting flux on top of this and then doing it, it should be a lot easier that way. Okay, okay. so yep, so basically that's it. And the next step is we are going to basically solder it to the pads right here, but let's prep the pads a little bit better because right now you can see that it's after it's removed, it's kind of like uneven shape. Let's just kind of like put our iron on this to make it a little bit softer. Okay, this should be good enough. Next, let's start soldering these motor cables onto the ESC. So the first one. Okay. All right, so this should be an okay job, All right? All right, so basically this is how you do the first one and I'm just gonna finish it off the screen so you don't have to watch me do it. Such a redundant work, all right, let's get going. Okay, so now we have complete all the installation at least at the soldering part. Now we're just gonna tuck these wires in. So we're just gonna tug it in like that. Since like this is kind of like a temporary because I most likely will be swapping it back to the older motors because I do like the KV better. But we're just going to put it in like that so it doesn't get in our way when we're actually testing them. The worst thing is, the worst scenario is your quad gets hit, your propellers are hitting these wires and that's going to be the worst scenario. Alright, okay, tuck it in, tuck it in. Okay, and the next step, we will be cutting these off.
Okay. We are done. Okay, so we're just going to put up some props and we will be able to just go out and probably test fly it. Yeah, let me just clean my table. It's kind of messy. All right, so I think I kind of like it. It does look nice on this build, but I wish it's still, I still wish it's either like super yellow or like super black. So it's kind of like goes into the theme, but this is very good. All right, we're just going to test fly this. I'll see you in the yard. Okay, so we are now at the field right now. This is my local park. I just couldn't fly this in front of my house because I think this is too dangerous in a sense. So we're going to test it basically with the CNHL. This is the Speed Pizza Black Edition. Speedy B Speedy Pizza Drone Pro. And this one is a 150C LiPo. So it should be able to generate a lot of power. All right, so that's about it. Let's just plug it in and let's give it a go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so upgrading from 7, 1765 is definitely something that you will feel the difference like like basically right immediately. Woo! Now these motor definitely rips. Yeah, you can see that the punch up seems to be a lot easier. But also since I'm not carrying a GoPro right now, so I don't know if it's considered, in a sense, fair whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, this one is definitely pretty good for freestyle, especially if it's only like, if you're only spending like $9, this is definitely, this is definitely good, yeah. Yeah, my remote is giving me a headache. It seems that I'm just worried that it's going to lose control like right away. So I don't want it to do like crazy freestyle, whatever. Oh, wow. I can't fly anymore. All right, let's do what you see. What the hell is that? Okay. Yeah, this one is definitely something that I really like. Yeah, wow. I just feel like when you upgrade your motors to like this kind of level, it just feel like, yeah, it just feel like it has more torque. No, it doesn't have more torque, but it does feel like it, it feels like it's a little bit more nimble compared to the compared to seven like the 1760, 1750. But all right, so I guess that's about it for these motors. So if it's only $9 for each, I think this is still a pretty good deal. And yeah, I don't think you're, you're going to go wrong with it. But anyway, that's about it for my short test. I only got a chance to fly one pack today because I got to go home and take care of my kids. So, yep, that's about it for this video. And if you have additional questions, feel free to leave it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.